in just a few minutes. We just spoke with leaders from both the Democratic and Republican parties here in Georgia. Atlanta News first reporter Blake Devine has their reaction tonight. He joins us now live from Brookhaven. And Blake, Democrats told you they're shocked, but Republicans say they saw this coming. Blair and Carly, two different reactions from two different sides of the spectrum. You know, here in Atlanta, it seems like just two months ago we were here when President Biden was hopping off the tarmac with lots of energy for his upcoming campaign, speaking at the Morehouse College commencement. But that has all shifted. And obviously today we got that big news that he will no longer be running for re-election. So I spoke to some local Georgia Democrats and a lot of them, they had heard some of the rumblings, but they were still shocked to hear that this happened. Then on the other side of the spectrum, talked to some Republicans and they had been circling their calendars coming off the uh, Republican National Convention where they were coming with a lot of energy hearing from uh, former President Trump and his new running mate, J.D. Vance. Uh, they expected this decision to happen within a matter of days or weeks. So two different reactions. Take a listen of what we heard today. The initial shock of hearing that uh, President Joe Biden is not going to seek re-election. Um, and then once you get past that, knowing that we have a strong place in play, and I have the utmost confidence in Vice President Kamala Harris. It is a very big dilemma for the Democrat Party right now. It looks like they're in total chaos. Their convention could be contested. They don't have a clear nominee. They don't have a nominee at all. Now, keep in mind, before this news broke out today, uh, former President Trump was leading in the polls throughout the uh, state of Georgia. Um, however, we spoke to GOP members and they say they're going to keep on campaigning as if President Trump is down 10 percent in the polls, no matter who the Democrats ultimately choose as their new leader. Reporting live in Brookhaven, Blake Devine, Atlanta News First. Blake, thank you. And